Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, cross watchers. If you're brand new to the channel, I'm really glad you landed here. Come into the comments, say hi, let me know where you're tuning in from. And what I do is later on in the evening, I kick my feet up, I turn the tube on, and I come into the comments and I say hi. So do say hello. I will reply. Okay, so in case you missed the announcement in the last Pisces reading, y'all won the bonus reading for this month, and that's that's how it goes. Last month, you were um, the champions of high views and engagement, so you get the bonus reading for this month. And this month, someone else will get a bonus reading for next month. So the way it works, though, is that bonus reading falls in the middle of the month. <laughs> so you're getting today's reading, and then tomorrow you're getting your bonus reading. So that's going to freak you out. I'm letting you know now. You're getting two readings in a row, and you'll still get your third reading, another reading at the end of the month. Three readings for you, Pisces. Lucky to be you. Okay. I love you so much, and thank you for all your continued support over all these years. I, I don't know. Maybe it's the Virgo Pisces polarity since we're opposite each other on the Zodiac. You have always been like my best buds. I love you. Okay, so we're closing out the Lion's Gate portal and my series on Lion's Gate with the Gateway of Light Activation Oracle. Let's see what your message is. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and their cross watchers. Anunnaki light codes, but of course, the Lionsgate portal is all about light codes and ascension, energetic shift, new information, end of a cycle, but of course. So let's get you your message, Anunnaki light codes. Um, your message, wow. I love this for you, Pisces. Great change is coming to you, but this can only occur if you are willing to shift your perception. You may be experiencing resistance to change, but please know this is simply fear of the new, not intuition. If you are wondering what is the best course of action, the Anunnaki are encouraging you to go with the new. Old systems, old, way of be old ways of being, and old ways of doing things must be released if you are to evolve. Change can bring a sense of vulnerability, but will allow you to make a deeper connection to your feelings, gifts, and what is important to you. Where am I? You are standing at a gateway of pure potential that will be ignited as soon as you move through this necessary change. Be open to new information, new processes, and new ideas. You are part of the new energy upon the earth. But of course you are. Yes, and I love this because I always feel like, and I just did Aquarius's reading. Uh, you know, I, I always feel like Aquarius is that moment where um, we get the, uh, the construct of humanity right like oh i'm not the only one here on this planet and there might be other beings so that's the aquarian sort of the unicorn approach humanity as a construct but then with pisces we sort of dissolve into one and then we have the alpha and the omega pisces being the omega aries being the alpha and we push through that zodiacal <laughs> astrological birth canal from Pisces to Aries and start a new zodiacal year, right? That's sort of how I sum it up. And that's what I feel here is you're like, we're going to close out the old and we're going to push through to the new and it's change. I know we're only in Leo season, but I feel like it's sort of kind of happening for you now uh, with this sort of Lionsgate portal. Um, and you're being activated. There's this energy that you're kind of getting to see in advance and experience in advance for all the rest of us. Lucky you. Wow. Okay. 
I'm going to pull my Twin Flame spread. That's what I've been using for this series. I'll give you my general impressions, and then I'll go back through with the clarifiers. Let's go. So your shared energy here, uh, you know, and it is about the journey. Um, the Eight of Cups isn't always about a walking away, but sometimes it is about leaving what isn't serving you behind, right? Yeah, I, I know what we've gotten out of some stuff and we're still moving forward on our path, on our journey. Um, Ten of Wands for you, Page of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay. Oh, wow. I kind of love this because it's all going back to this oracle for you. At least that's how I'm seeing it. So these first cards are sort of where you're each at, in, you know, individually. This is the two of you sort of together. Um, these two cards represent your individual karmic challenges. Okay, so where you're at and then what do you what do you got to work through this is um your invitation it's the opportunity and then the divine guidance lovers i know so the star for the opportunity the lovers for the guidance i know it's really good so if we're sort of moving forward we're on the journey um sometimes there are things that we kind of have to you know, I always see this as the hermit kind of ready to kind of scale the mountain and, and sort of leaving behind, lightening the load, right? Um, and this is a journey of two souls. It's like the two, uh, we need two more cups in the eight of cups if we're going to get the ten of cups. And so that's the two of cups. That's the two of you together. Now, where are you? In, with regard to this connection, there's something that's weighing on you. There's something that feels a little oppressive and there's a need for some unburdening of a lightening of your load. Um, and for your person, I like this page of pentacles because it is like that first step. There's an awareness that they have a lot to learn. Um, and so uh, that's a good place for them to be, page of pentacles. And even if that feels a little oppressive to you, <laughs> um, it, it's a good place because it's like a fresh start. Now, in your karmic challenge, the Queen of Swords, um, you know, she's usually the truth seeker, truth teller, but it could be that there's something that you're struggling to believe or to see clearly. We'll get there. Um, and your person's karmic challenge is when we have a lot to learn, sometimes it's like we have to do it on our own and we don't always wanna face ourselves. This is a card of introspection and self-awareness. And it's like, you know, a radical self-inventory. And that may not be the most pleasant experience, um, the, look, the look inward, but it may be necessary so this person doesn't feel um, so kind of like um, unqualified or out of step or uncertain of how to move about the cabin. The opportunity, we have the star. The star talks about, you know, um, hope and trust. Uh, there is uh, messages around some healing if necessary, but I'm almost seeing this star as sort of like the wish being granted and the, the, the dreams coming true, but we're still journeying and we've got one baby step here and we've got somebody going like, oh my God, this is just more than I can take. And so it's like you're a little bit out of sync on this journey at this moment. And so the divine guidance is about remember the journey, right, of your souls. This is, this is an agreement. Um, this is the free will. This is the choice. The, the lovers is a card of choice. It's a choice that you make every single day. So that's my general upshot. Now let's um, get the details from the clarifiers. Eight of Cups. Six of, ooh, interesting. Okay. 
So I am feeling a little bit of a homecoming, right? Maybe there has been some solitary journeying you've each been doing, and now there's this opportunity for you to kind of meet in the middle. Uh, it feels exciting and yet daunting. So maybe you've both got with that nine of swords, remember this card, the intention I said is that it represents your shared energy, where you are at this point in a shared capacity. It's, there's some anxiety, a little worry, um, a little dread maybe. But overall, the energy is positive. It feels a little exciting, but with a page again, it's sort of fresh. Um, but I do feel like it's an opportunity for the two of you to kind of reconnect. There feels like a reconnection to me here. Not necessarily a reunion, but just sort of a touching base. And you are whew, 10 of wands. Uh-huh. And there's your queen of swords. Oh, because you're not sure um if if your person's on the same page right past life soulmate queen of swords three of pentacles you don't know yet you don't have that answer and it's really weighing on you are they invested are they on the same page do they see things the same way and now that there's a sort of touching base and sort of a meeting in the middle um, on your respective journeys now i get it oh see how lovely this is it's like everything's weighing on you in this moment. Oh, I feel that. Page of Pentacles for your person. Oh my God, guys. So whoever this is, y'all always like, why do I not bring tissues over? Four of Wands, Hierophant. This person is really taking this first step, fresh energy, fresh start energy, back to that moment where they first I came into some form of awareness in real time that, oh wow, this person is someone I could, like I could see myself with them. Um, an awareness of the specialness of the connection and feeling uh, like you were the one, you were someone they could be with long term. The Hierophant, I'm just invoking that sense of a committed connection. But look, look at the Seven of Cups underneath. Is it real, Page of Pentacles, or is it something I kind of fantasized? into reality, right? This is a little confusion where they stand right now. There's a little confusion. I don't think they're too overwhelmed because it's underneath. It's not like, it's not right here, but as they re, there's a re-entry that I'm feeling for both of you and it's a little exciting, but it's also a little daunting. These two cards are from the bottom of the deck, not from the top. So it's sort of just lingering in your unconscious awareness that oh what are we really dealing with now for you your karmic challenge is that queen of swords the full five of cups justice am i gonna feel a fool did i right like are they invested am i gonna be left with nothing, you know, feeling rejected, despairing. The justice card underneath is fairness and balance. It's, you know, I feel like you're struggling. Did I assess this correctly? Um, Queen of Swords. There's a truth that you're not sure. You, there's something you don't think you have an accurate handle on. So it's not that someone didn't tell you the truth. You're not sure you have an accurate assessment of the situation and that maybe you took a risk that you're gonna regret. That's your karmic challenge. And underneath is justice, you know, and, and justice is kind of like something here, I'm not sure I'm gonna come out uh, 
with, it's not going to come out in my favor. Oof. So I understand that karmic challenge. And then your person's karmic challenge is the hermit. Death card, Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands. Well, the death card for this person, it's about their growth. Uh, this is all personal growth right here. And for the death card, it's about something that had to kind of die off so that they could benefit from the growth and the change and the transformation that would be available to them. That's why they're now in this kind of like babe in the woods energy of the Page of Pentacles, taking first steps, baby steps, and feeling like they're having this whole fresh start energy in their life. But their karmic challenge is there are some truths that they have not yet faced as a result. There's still, there are still things unfolding that they haven't really had that aha moment about. So their karmic challenge is, and, and now underneath their, okay, so now that makes sense, right? Because that seven of cups to me is now seeing like, with regard to you, was I just like fantasizing? And did that just, you know, was it fantasizing or was it real, right? And was it real or was that Memorex? Um, and now with the Knight of Wands underneath, like this passion that's building, are maybe they just tamping it down? Was that really a part of their growth process? So this is someone who kind of has to face facts about how they really feel, about a real attraction instead of it living just in a, a scant memory or a scant fant you know, fantasy that they may have once upon a time had to get them through a difficult chapter. And I'm not saying that if you had interaction with this person that it wasn't real. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that they got through a difficult part of their life and you were instrumental in that but they're not yet dealing with well how does that now translate into reality different animal so let's see the opportunity is the star wishes granted dreams coming true yes the new beginning Woo! Five of Swords, Tower. After all the um, games that were played, the Towers, I, I don't think this is between you. I think this is what you came through. And in fact, I think it's what this person came through. Um, five of Swords, you know, could have been a lot of... Um, defeatist energy there could have been energy between you where this is just not sustainable this isn't we're not going to make it um that energy of the five of swords with the tower underneath we don't have enough to build a solid foundation upon that's part of what that three of pentacles was alluding to and so many energies of defeat because there were things going on outside of the connection but we may get the opportunity is the new beginning. So I am feeling like that's why this person is sort of, did I just hallucinate this whole thing? Was I'm now in this fresh start of my life, but this person's karmic challenge is they haven't put two and two together yet. And, and they haven't really tapped into the full truth the full truth of the passion of the desire um, and they're on their way back you're on your way back to each other and that is a choice so let's see divine guidance in the lover's card and i can see why you're concerned that 
you may have taken a chance and will live to regret it. I can see that. I mean, how beautiful is this? You have to choose the happiness. You have to choose this gift of the love of a lifetime. You have to choose each other, the soulmate, the soul bond, the twin. The happily ever after that has always belonged to you. Yeah, I mean, really. It doesn't get any more lovely than that. So your divine guidance backs up, right? What you've always been most fearful you would never have, that you kind of gave up on. I can't have nice things. It's, we're never going to make it. No. That's why I said, the opportunity for you is dreams do can come true and you can have the new beginning. So you see why your karmic challenges are so important. Okay, so for you, focus on balance and harmony. Focus on the truths that will be revealed will be in my favor. And for this person, you can send them some energy to see that truth that there's that there's no harm that will come to them by facing the truth because it will dispel the fantasy and it will help them realize the truth of their passion their desire i know it's a really interesting reading feels like we're kind of coming to full circle here i love that the card on the bottom oh not that card the next card out, no, oh, where was it? Not there. The card on the bottom would have been the world. The next clarifier for, for your, um, you know what I'm talking about. For your divine guidance, the next card from the bottom of the deck was the world, which is closing out a difficult cycle so the new cycle can begin. Ugh. I just kind of lifted my leg on all of that didn't i guys all right so i am going to take this to the extended i want to see what our page of pinnacles person here is sorting through i want to show you this person in their higher vibration and lower vibration so you know what it looks like sounds like behaves like that's very helpful i want to show you their hidden energy something they don't want you to know about at this point but could be very helpful and what they do want you to know what would they like you to know that's really helpful. Um, and then we'll pull some other energy. So the links to that are in the description box below. There is option one, two, or three. So make sure that you know what it is you're clicking and buying. Okay. Um, and I do that for a reason because some people like the membership style and other people just want a one and done. Um, and then I'm going to give you the astrology here in a second before I do that. <laughs> if you enjoy my readings if this one in particular has spoken to your heart if it speaks to your experience if it's been validating confirmational insightful and you haven't yet please do subscribe below i do this at the end so that i can earn that subscription and it's the only way i can stay here on this platform is if i grow my subscribers and if i grow my views per video and you know per 24 to 48 hour period and don't make me give you all the you know all the metrics but some crap has changed on this platform and the algorithms are not favoring channels like mine so anything you can do to help and it doesn't cost you a thing what i'm telling you will help is to subscribe thank you here you go page of wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Queen of Swords is out twice. That is Libra. Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hierophant is 
Taurus. The Fool is the planet Uranus. Uranus rules Aquarius, more Libra in the Justice card. Some Virgo here in the Hermit, Scorpio in the Death card, Sagittarius in our Knight of Wands. The Star, more Aquarian energy. Tower is Mars, which rules Aries. Then we've got the Lovers, Gemini. The Sun is the Sun, which happens to rule Leo. That's what I've got for you guys. I'm headed to the extended now. I will see you there in a second.